Well, summers are getting hotter and longer. That is according to new data. The 50 most populated U.S. cities have gotten hotter. Las Vegas came out on top with 83 days, including every day in July, being above 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius, peaking at 120 degrees Fahrenheit or 49 degrees Celsius. There's also been an extreme jump in the number of hot days, going from an average of 21 days to 37. CNN's chief climate correspondent, Bill Weir, joining me now. Um, you've had a look at this data. Out of the top 10 cities experiencing the, the most heat, um, many were in Texas. Why is that? Well, it's regional in some cases. Mm. I mean, as the planet grows, uh, heats up, some places get hotter faster than others. It's the built environment. It's the urban heat island effect in these big cities. It's making it worse by adding more concrete for that heat to bounce around uh, there as well. But yes, uh, seven of the 10 top ones that are getting hotter faster are in Texas. A lot are in Arizona, but let me break it down here. We got a bunch of interesting charts where, Becky, we really took, uh, we added up those days above 95 degrees Fahrenheit, 35 degrees Celsius, uh, from the top 50 biggest cities in the country. And you can see that the length of time the summer is getting longer. Now those scorching hot days are happening in mid-June, where it used to be later in June. They're lasting until the second week of September, so there's more time that's happening. Then as we look at the, uh, the bar graph across time, going back to the 70s there, as you say, Las Vegas has added an extra 17 and a half days there. San Antonio is really staggering. They have an extra 15 and a half days. But back in the mid-70s, uh, Becky, in San Antonio, you'd get one week of these scorching hot temperatures. Last year, it was 13 weeks, a 1,200% increase in these scorching hot days. As you go down the list, Nashville is getting muggier as well. Uh, Washington, D.C. and Baltimore having a scorching summer of 2024, probably going to shatter some records. And then is at the bottom of the list, Charlotte adds an extra 16 days as well. Phoenix, Mesa. Tempe, the three biggest cities in Arizona, the three hottest, they're already hot, getting much hotter. And this is really playing out as a lesson in real-time adaptation uh, in places like Phoenix, where they now have body bags full of ice in every ambulance and fire truck to try to help uh, heat stroke patients, uh, folks who are either unhoused, working with addiction, the young, the old, or the most vulnerable outside construction workers. It's affecting building codes in some places. Uh, in Arizona, they're now trying to build corridors of shade, moving taller buildings closer to the street, breezeways, planting a lot more trees. Uh, but these things take time. And in the meantime, when you realize that this generational jump in scorching hot temperatures is really preying on the vulnerabilities of society, Becky, or, or everywhere around the world. So looking for the hot places, even in the, in the Middle East, uh, some role models for how to live, how to adapt, how to survive in these uh, triple digits for longer periods of time. Yeah, and we talk about that a lot, and you see a lot of work being done on that because there is an acceptance, certainly in the part of the world where this show that I'm um, anchoring is normally based, which, of course, is Abu Dhabi in the UAE, that um, there is an acceptance that it is getting hotter um, and these mitigation efforts are extremely important at this point. It's always good to have you, mate. Thank you very much right. indeed. And you can read the full article, get a closer look at those detailed graphics online. The article explores the data from the International Institute for Environment and Development, going in depth on the rising heat in cities, as well as the longer summers. That data shared exclusively with CNN.